Welcome back to this clip in which we will talk about basic functions in Excel. Uh, so we saw a bit of that in the last clip and now we take it to um, predefined functions uh, that you can use and combine. So uh, we can uh, get rid of that. If you highlight or select um, the B column, the contents of the B column, what Excel does in the bottom is give you a brief indication. It's always a bit of a quick and dirty a way to get an average, counts and sum. So in uh, column B, we have an average of um, 34, age 34, um, six participants and their sum age is uh, 205. So we can use functions as well to enter that data or to put that data into um, a column. So for instance, uh, that's a pre built in function that I actually hardly ever use, but that you might may find helpful is if you um, have highlighted that, selected that, and then go to the tab formulas, there is this uh, section auto sum. So you can either click that directly and it will assume that you will sum, you want to sum up uh, something. I'll undo that. Uh, you can also determine the average that way. Go back and, uh, well, yeah, determine a maximum value in uh, that column. So that might be helpful for some uh, purposes. You can also use the function sum. Um, so if you in this column and you want to enter a function, it works the same way as you would reference a cell, but then you would not reference a cell, but enter a function name. So sum is sum basically. And as you enter um, a bracket, that gives you a little tooltip that pops up. So the function um, expects uh, some arguments that go with it. Okay, think about arguments as you would with verbs. Um, transitive verbs always require one object and ditransitive verbs have two objects. And uh, the function sum is a bit special because you can just add um, cell names um, of those cells that you want to add. Right, so that would be... Uh, just a few of them with the color coding again hit enter and that will give you the sum of the first um, four uh, cells that you entered now, especially if you had a larger data set that would obviously be a bit tedious if you had to enter each cell individually but you can also enter uh, ranges so you want the range from cell b2 until b7 right so if you use that um, colon there that would give you the sum if you were inside the brackets, you could also say, I want the sum from uh, cell uh, B2. So you can use the mouse to say B2 to, oops, B2, and then hold the shift key down to uh, B7. Like I said, you're rarely um, going to use that, but it's interesting um, background information nevertheless. Another function, very basic, that we may want to use actually with the purpose later on is the function uh, length. So uh, imagine you wanted to know the length of the name. So how many characters um, do these names have? I mean, that's a typical application in psycholinguistics where you may want to know the length of words to balance in an experiment, for instance. Uh, so enter um, uh, the equal sign and then use Len for length, um, open in brackets, and that's a very simple um, function because it only requires one argument, which is the cell that you want to count the characters in, and that in this case is A2. Uh, close bracket, and then hit enter, and you can just uh, drag down this as well. Before we go off, um, one hint. Uh, so remember that what's in the cell right now is the function, it's not the actual value. And uh, for some purposes, you actually do want the values in here uh, because things would change that you may not want to. And I always prefer to have the values rather than um, the function, unless, of course, I use the values in those for other referencing um, situations. And I want to keep them dynamic. But if you don't want to or don't need them to be dynamic, you can uh, select what you have in here. And then right click, select copy, or do it without the right click and just hit um, Command C. And then as this is in your um, uh, clipboard, 
right select or right click again and then take this paste special so you don't want just want to paste something in it because what's in your uh, clipboard is currently the the function not the values but you want to paste a special and you just want to paste the values if you do that and if you want to get rid of that moving green uh, box you just hit um, escape so what is now in your cells as you can see here is the actual value not the function um, so that's that's that pretty much basic principle of um, functions